am impressed. Very impressed. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Darren and for today's video we are headed back to the world of Cyberpunk 2077. What could be one of the biggest games of all time. That is the current hype for this title. Now what are we going to be talking about today? We have new system requirements if you plan on using ray tracing and we actually have gameplay video of what ray tracing will look like inside the game and it is unbelievable. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to support smaller channels. All right, let's jump right into this. Right now I'm on the website Polygon. Title of this article, Cyberpunk 2077 System Requirements Revealed. Now we already know the system requirements for this game. What they have done is added on what the requirements will be depending on the resolution you're running if you want ray tracing. And I'm gonna play this video for you in a few seconds, which is the behind the scenes video of what ray tracing is bringing to this game. And again, it looks freaking fantastic. I've never been a huge fan of ray tracing. I always thought it was kind of a gimmick, you know, when you saw it on Battlefield and all these other different games. But in this title, I mean, it looks Amazing. Okay, the requirements. So when you look at this right now, the blue is what we already knew. Okay, now ray tracing is in the green. If you want to run it at 1080p, 1440, and 2160. Now, 1440 is always the sweet spot, especially in the PC arena. That's normally where people play their games at. Not many people still play 1080 unless you have a lower end system, and not many people are in that 4K range yet. Okay. That being said, if you want to play ray tracing at 1080p, RTX 2060, so you just need a card that's one gen older, you should have no problem acquiring that for a good price if that's where you're gaming at. That being said, if you want to game at 1440p and enable ray tracing on high settings, you need an RTX 3070. You need this generation of GPUs from NVIDIA. It is very rare, and I mean very, very rare. I'm sure I could do some research and find out, but off the top of my head, I can't think of any game that requires the current mid to high range video processor for its game. That's what this is. A minimum of a 3070 to run ray tracing on Cyberpunk 2077 at 1440. And then at 2160, you need a 3080. By the way, those cards are still sold out everywhere. You can't even get your hands on them. Okay, I'm going to play for you the behind the scenes video now. It's about three minutes long. They talk about the creation of the game and what ray tracing is bringing to it. I'll be back in a few seconds. Enjoy. Sarapan was both thrilling and, and kind of scary experience, to be honest. We had great expectations coming from the players, and we had this enormous ambition build up after our previous game, Witcher 3. From the art direction standpoint, it's like starting over, pretty much. Night City is a, is a vast place. It is vast both horizontally and vertically. It is filled with very large variety of architecture styles. We had to make sure that all those settings look good at any hour, any second, with any LED, flashlights, neons, dynamically turned on and off at any time. For me, the critical thing was to prepare like normal, believable day and night cycle. Having these two worlds, like grayed out, sunburned city streets, mixed with super colorful, vivid streets at night, and having that slowly blending within time was the big challenge for us. The first time I actually saw all of it come together, the bustling streets, the lights, the cars driving and flying above you, it was mind-blowing. It was an absolutely crazy experience. Then they turned RTX on and it took on a whole new level. We worked very closely with NVIDIA to bring ray tracing to the game. And as we were progressing with the work, we were trying a lot of approaches. And at the end, what we get is something that plays together with the rest of the feature very nicely. With ray tracing, the whole idea of making this a world simulator gets this extra crazy boost. 
The first thing I'd like to point out is the shadows. When you have the whole city, you see it through the horizon and it's all so complex. You have antennas, you have buildings, cars, people, everything is super busy. And normally you need to do some shortcuts and retracing is cutting the shortcuts. Everything is getting a perfect shadow. Another thing that I really love about ray tracing, and though I, I didn't really realize how important that is until I saw it, is ray trace reflections. Night City is full of reflective surfaces, glass, aluminum, metals, rain bubbles, and being able to leverage real-time ray tracing makes that experience even more convincing to the player. You can see reflection stuff is behind you. You can see in reflections even further, further away from you. Your brain gets this extra pillow of comfort because you understand the reality better when you play. That's a huge bonus. Ray trace visuals are further enhanced with NVIDIA DLSS. It utilizes AI accelerated rendering to maximize performance and image quality as you explore the night city. The more realistic graphics are getting, the easier it is for players to fully immerse themselves in, in the world that we're creating. So when it comes to providing games that are cutting edge, you have to use cutting edge technology. And in that way, RTX has really helped us to put this extra level of polish on our visuals. You believe me now, right? After watching that video, I told you the game looks amazing. It is very rare when someone builds a new PC or a super high-end PC that you ever actually use the capability of that system. Well, things are going to be different with this title if everything they say is true. If they can deliver those level of visuals while maintaining frame rates at 1440p in the action sequences when you're driving and doing all your normal mayhem you're going to do in this game this game is going to be something we've never seen before i mean there's a reason why all the streamers the gaming community people are changing their schedules for when they're going to be releasing updates in games because of this title because the hype is there potentially biggest game of all time but still have to wait and see this game does not officially drop until december 10th and it's available across all platforms it'll be on stadia it'll be on pc it'll be xbox one xbox x xbox s ps4 ps5 you can get it and play it on pretty much anything except poor nintendo i'm sorry this is not a nintendo game all right everybody that's the video cyberpunk 2077 what do you think do you plan on upgrading your system so you can play it while using ray tracing let me know in the comment section below if you have not joined the official action rpg discord please do so we're now over 400 members great conversations every day the idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone link for that discord is in the description thank you all for watching stay home stay safe do not forget to join the official Action RPG Discord. Aaron, out. Mm -hmm.